37 minutes past the hour now. He is one of the biggest celebrities in the world right now, and he has no ego unless they actually, you know, put an ego into him as part of a computer program. We're talking about Watson, IBM supercomputer, who soundly defeated his human opponents on Jeopardy Wednesday night. To watch Watson whip Ken Jennings, but would you let him, let's say, perform surgery on you or diagnose a condition? Work's already underway to see how supercomputers and artificial intelligence can help improve our lives, particularly in the healthcare field. IBM says it is now partnering with Nuance Communications in the hopes of turning Watson into a physician's assistant. Joining me now is Joe Brown Features, so he would be used as a diagnostic tool in hospitals. How would this work? Well, that's the idea, that you would maybe... Up this would not be a replacement for a human, but oh, how would they help... I mean, somewhere down the road, I mean, you know, we have kiosks now at airports instead of having to see a person. I mean, there are ways that we've certainly replaced humans. Would this down the road perhaps be a way, let's say, in rural hospitals or things like that, uh, in rural places that don't have a lot of health care, to actually replace humans? I can see it as going into a place, maybe a mine something like that you can use that we did see which was interesting in jeopardy is that okay he could know everything and he could have all of that information as you said all he loaded up with all of this information but he got wrong a question where they said what um u.s city and he said yeah and you know i'm i was kind of happy to see him get that wrong i'm not gonna lie it, it, it's Nice to know. Jennings jokingly wrote in his final Jeopardy, I, for one, welcome our new computer overlords. <laughs> I mean, do people have any reason to fear this? We're marveling at it right now, but this whole notion of artificial intelligence down the road. Well, I think we can see it. Question about a tech story that's percolating out there. There was the president yesterday going to Silicon Valley, and he was supposed to be meeting about innovation with some of the top tech giants, and one of them was Apple Steve Jobs. Um, there was not a a picture released, an official picture of this meeting, of the dinner that they had, and uh, there's speculation about the health of Steve Jobs and a lot of concerns about that. What do you make of of the concerns over his health right now and whether or not we're going to hear more about how he's doing? Well, Steve Jobs... Leave of absence with no end date to when he's going to return. Yeah, he took, us, he took a leave of absence. Uh, Joe Brown, features editor at Gizmodo.com. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me. TJ? All right.